how the younger child gets away with everything. The younger child always gets away with everything, whether it's over a small argument in the living room or a scrap in the backyard. The younger child always gets away with everything. He's two years younger than you. Look after him. The words boil in my head. I could be lying on the floor with a broken back and my brother with a cut on his finger. I would be punished. Scientific studies prove that younger children will always be needier than the older ones, demanding and testing all the time. It's a fact. Parents don't notice it, but when something's wrong with the youngster, it's always the older one's fault. And on the off chance when the younger one gets in trouble, let's face it, it's never really that bad. For example, when I was playing football in the backyard, my brother came to join me. Obviously, he wasn't here to play football. He was here to cause trouble. He told me he was going to go on defence and I would attack. So I listened. I ran with the ball at him and tried to get round him when I had a crunch on my left ankle. He started laughing until I told him to attack against me. And that's just when the fun started. As I limped through the front door first, my mum asked me what we were doing out there. As my brother hobbled in, the whole story was explained. I don't know why, I think I explained the story pretty well. I was sent to my room and my brother went and played on his computer. Can anyone else relate? One of the reasons why the younger child is favoured is because they are the baby of the family or have, or the older ones have more independence as they get older. Scientific studies show that older children have more interests in common which means they have more conversations with their parents and family. This indicates that the older child is more reasonable and more responsible and more mature. I feel like overall the younger child gets let off with lots of stuff, whether it's starting a fight with me in my room or not eating his vegetables at dinner time. This is hard for parents to notice, but any older child would agree. When I was around eight, I used to dream of putting cameras in my eyes so my parents could see what I could see and feel what I could feel. This has been done before. Often it leads to the younger child aggravating the older child and the older one chasing the younger one, which I don't blame them for. In Sydney, a younger boy was annoying an older boy by kicking the back of his legs and slapping his neck. The older child then chased the younger child to the parents and the older child got in trouble. The younger child is the weasel of the family. One moment committing a crime, the next living his everyday life. Me, on the other hand, covered in filthy evidence. I have an amazing family with my mum, my dad and my younger brother, of course. They have supported me throughout my entire life. But when it comes to getting in trouble, my brother always gets the easy way out. I hope this speech persuades my parents and other parents with a similar family to give the older children some slack. Now we all know, the younger child always gets away with everything.